following segment is paid for by the Hawaiian Islands. Hawaii. It has always been a favorite vacation destination of my family. I know many of you folks are watching right now. What about taking one of the best life-changing adventures that is not found in any guidebook? It's not your typical vacation to Hawaii. John DeFries was born and raised in Waikiki. He's the president and CEO of the Hawaii Tourism Authority. He joins us now to share about a new opportunity. How are you doing, John? JJ, I'm fine, and thank you for having me. This is a perfect time for us to talk about, you know, we've all known about the beautiful beaches. We've all known about Hawaii being a wonderful playground. But today, for the traveler of today and the future, we have programs in our volunteerism experiences that more visitors need to know about. And those programs we call Malama Hawaii. Malama is the Hawaiian term that means to care for, to protect, to nurture. And we take that approach because we understand the importance of our fragile environment, the well-being of our community, and the need for us to be cognizant of generations to come. John, here I am on the Ninth Island talking to you today, and I will tell you I'm so thrilled to hear about these programs because when I have had the opportunity to visit Waikiki, which I did last September, to go on the island of Kauai and walk into uh, you know, the, sh the sugar cane fields uh, that were so important to the island uh, many decades ago, I just, I look around and I think we must preserve this. The natural beauty is just off the charts in Hawaii. So what, what kind of opportunities, how can people help support the island while they're there? Sure. You know, I, I, I want you to imagine hiking through a native forest and being part of a reforestation program because those environments need our attention and care. Think about walking along the coastline and helping to understand and protect our wildlife and marine life from, at times, uh, places that human activity uh, may affect their well-being. I also want to call your attention to Pearl Harbor, where the iconic battleship, the USS Missouri, now has a restoration program enabling residents and visitors to be part of that restorative effort. Believe me, for every American, a trip to Pearl Harbor is a priority, and this is an opportunity to express your gratitude and patriotism for those who came before us. John, I, I'm wondering too, uh, you know, we, we want to take part in some of these tours. Um, how can we actively help when we visit the island of Hawaii? I mean, you growing up there, you really have an understanding of the dynamic uh, between the, the kind of all the tourists and, and the native population. Um, what, is, what is the most beautiful attitude to have when we arrive as visitors? Well, you know, great question. I appreciate it. You know, these islands are fragile and these communities are fragile. And so as the visitor arrives in Hawaii, just be mindful of that and engage with the community every opportunity you have so that we can jointly become part of the fabric of our entire state. We are a tight-knit community. We take this Malama concept seriously. It is a call to action, not just a program for visitors. And so I would encourage um, uh, visitors to learn more about that and please go to our website gohawaii.com slash malama and get updated on the programs that are available right now there are 30 of them across six islands in our state it's a wonderful opportunity that will enrich the visitor experience and perhaps transform a portion of your life when you return home oh absolutely it's such a gift the natural beauty the wildlife all around you on those islands. I have just savored them when I visited. Malama, folks, is the concept that John has introduced. To find out more about Malama Hawaii, the program adventures, you can go to hawaii.com forward slash Malama. John, thank you so much. Mahalo.